Welcome back. I know we have to get through these storms, but like you said, silver lining, it's gone for Thanksgiving and gone for the really busy travel day tomorrow. That's right. And most importantly for the airport, right? You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, we were looking live there a minute ago. Tomorrow expected to be the busiest travel day. I saw a number earlier. The Atlanta airport expecting 3.9 million people to go through there just over the holiday season. I'm glad I'm not one of those people so. because that is a <laughs> lot of lines you're going to be waiting in. Yeah, that's right. And unfortunately, if you're headed up there today, you're running into rain between here and there, and then you're running to rain in the sky as well. Here's the satellite and radar across central Georgia, 67 in Macon, 68 in Warner Robins right now, 65 over in Thomaston. 62 in Monticello. And really, we look at this radar loop here. We've seen waves of rain through the morning hours, but as expected, this afternoon, we're actually seeing it slack off across central Georgia. The heaviest stuff up towards the north, up towards Peachtree City, Griffin, over towards, say, Clayton County, moving into Henry County. But in gray, a small shower right now, more up towards Lake Oconee, especially down on the south side, Twiggs County and Jeffersonville, over towards Wilkinson County, over into uh, Lawrence County there, all of that sliding toward the northeast. And then as we look off to the west, how about that? Look into Montgomery, Alabama, towards Atlanta. This line right here is what we're going to be watching for potentially some storms to develop later on today. But between now and then, we have the winds out there right now, and that wind is going to be gusting through the day today, sometimes upwards of 30 miles an hour. And then here comes that front later on tonight, and that will clear us out for tomorrow morning in terms of the wind gust. But that front also bringing with it a strong storm threat, gusty winds, the main driver of this. However, the chance for a very brief, very weak, and I mean very, 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 a low end weak tornado is going to be in the picture today for this level one area all across central Georgia. So we're watching the details on it. Overall, I'm not too concerned about it. Notice the radar doesn't exactly look threatening. We'll say by about seven o'clock tonight. There are those storms I'm talking about. Notice the southerly wind and then the wind shifts with the cold front. Uh, it's going to take from um, say six, seven o'clock until about 11, 12, one somewhere in there for all of this to slide through central Georgia. And then we'll be waking up dry tomorrow morning. Now, how much rain are we talking about? Generally speaking, less than an inch higher amounts to the north where we're seeing that rain in place right now. So we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, totals closer to an inch and say Thomaston for Scythe over towards Jasper and Putnam counties, but then maybe between a half inch to nothing down to the south, depending on just where you are. Once we get past uh, today, pretty nice day tomorrow on into Thanksgiving on Thursday, starting off near 40 across central Georgia before we get close to 60 here through the afternoon hours. In fact, I'm going with a high temperature of 61 on Thanksgiving, partly cloudy skies and a quiet weather day winds out of the west northwest at about five to 10 miles an hour. But for today, 72 going to be that high temperature. So a little warmer than Thanksgiving, right? Average high is 67 going above that will be below that for the rest of the day. The potential for storms later on again. I don't think it's a slam dunk by any stretch of the imagination, but we turn cooler 63 for Wednesday 61 on Thursday. Yeah, so remember average high 67 below that into the weekend and on into next week, partly cloudy skies and then just kind of looking forward past Monday. Caitlin, I think we'll have another rain chance back in the picture by the middle part of next week.